DXR Clinician, professionally edited virtual patient case studies based on actual patient cases, problem-based and designed to develop clinical reasoning and critical thinking skills. The clinical encounter is one of the most crucial aspects of medical education. DXR Clinician's virtual patient case studies are the perfect tool to gain proficiency in the clinical investigative and documenting process. In the DXR virtual patient cases, users gather essential and accurate information, define the patient's problem, integrate and apply scientific evidence to patient care, use the features of the program to refine their assessments and develop patient management plans, just as they would in a real clinical setting. Users document their investigation, and the system monitors them to provide deep insight into their thought processes and reveal areas where clinical reasoning can be improved. We will demonstrate the key features in DXR Clinician, starting with the patient case. Instructors arrange pertinent DXR Clinician virtual patient cases into directories based on the student's level of experience and the topics under discussion. Students pull the chart of their assigned patient, logging in with a secure account created for them. From the start, students are exercising the clinical reasoning process of defining the patient problem, creating a differential diagnosis, gathering and reflecting on patient information, and using their content knowledge. In the DXR Clinician Virtual Patient Case, the student will conduct a thorough yet focused history of present illness, create a concise statement of the patient problem, and an initial differential diagnosis. Take a focused, complete patient history, associating interview questions with any possible diagnoses. Refine and improve their problem statement. Reflect on their current thinking by adding to, deleting from, and or reprioritizing their differential diagnoses. Apply existing knowledge or research to find additional information about organ systems and disease processes. Diagnose the patient and provide a thorough diagnostic justification. Put in treatment orders to properly manage the patient and access an initial self-assessment comparing their patient workup with the case author's workup. The DXR Clinician Virtual Patient Encounter begins with the patient's presenting situation. DXR Clinician Virtual Patient Cases are designed on the free inquiry model. That means you can start by ordering a diagnostic test or performing a physical exam. Most users choose to start by interviewing the patient. The DXR Clinician Virtual Patient Interview allows you to ask the patient any of hundreds of questions. These questions are grouped in present illness and review of systems categories, as we'll see in a moment. We'll open the present illness category and ask Mr. Domkowski why he's here today. The student reviews the patient responses, collecting data in search of a diagnosis. When the student is ready to move on from the present illness questions, they'll click the More Categories button. DXR Clinician Virtual Patient Cases can be set to prompt the student to make a differential diagnosis. Students create a concise statement of the patient's problem. This statement can be edited and corrected throughout the patient investigation. Also, students edit and prioritize their diagnostic hypotheses. They use this evolving differential as the basis of their investigation throughout the interview, exam, diagnostic tests, and the rest of the patient encounter. The student's decisions and actions throughout the DXR virtual patient case will be visible to the instructor when evaluating the patient workup. The record of how the student creates, updates, and rules hypotheses in or out, as well as the investigative items they associate with their hypotheses, allows you to trace the student's line and method of clinical reasoning inquiry. Students may gather additional history from the patient by asking questions in all these categories. All investigative items can be associated with one or more diagnostic hypotheses in the differential. Questions can be searched as well. When asking a question, performing a physical exam, or ordering diagnostic tests, students are looking for both abnormal results and documenting negative findings. Negative findings will help them determine the follow-up needed in other lines of inquiry. After finishing the patient interview, students usually proceed to the physical exam. Students will be asked again to review and or modify their problem statement and differential before performing the virtual physical exam. Students conduct a complete physical exam and assessment of the patient in the DXR exam room. 
Actual patient body views and all the tools and techniques used in an actual exam room are available. The patient's results are displayed when the selected tool is clicked on the appropriate body part or area. The results can be displayed as text, charts, graphics, video, or sounds. The student may document what the exam reveals by interpreting the exam result. Also, the student may be provided with a consultant's report on the finding. The student's ability to properly interpret results in any investigative area will help you assess the student's content knowledge and clinical reasoning process. In addition, questions can be attached to any investigative item. These questions and the explanations of patient issues may be provided by the case author or by the instructor. Student responses may provide insights about their command of the issues and the content involved in the patient case. In the Diagnostic Tests section, you may select and review the results of hundreds of diagnostic tests. Click an item in the Common Tests list to see the results of frequently ordered tests like X-rays, MRIs, and CT scans. You can magnify images. Hundreds more specialized tests are available. You can search for a test and see what normal results are for each test, as well as what abnormal results indicate. In the DXR Clinician Virtual Patient Case, students will order a test, view the results, write an interpretation, and then be able to read a report written by a consultant. The student's clinical investigation of the patient's problem culminates in a diagnosis. Students select a diagnosis from their differential. Modifying their selected hypotheses in appropriate pathophysiologic terms based on the patient information they have documented. The students also will be expected to justify their diagnosis and show how confident they are in their diagnosis. The information the students enter and the choices they make on this screen will help you see how well students use the information they have been able to document. DXR Clinician Virtual Patient Cases extend the learning experience by allowing the student to order patient management at any point during the clinical encounter. DXR Clinician's Management section allows for multiple management activities, as an outpatient or in the hospital. Students choose the appropriate management category, then they select the specific orders or items. Students are expected to provide a rationale for each treatment order. With the completion of the patient management plan, the patient encounter is closed. And once the students have completed the patient encounter, the DXR clinician system can provide them with feedback on their performance in these assessment categories. Stars mark the tasks the students completed successfully. The students can click the items and see the correct information, adding to their store of knowledge. At this point, the student exits the DXR clinician virtual patient case. DXR Clinician Virtual Patient Cases, designed with the features and functions to master the clinical reasoning process.